Kilauea in Hawaii started erupting on Monday following a three-month pause, the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said. Kilauea began erupting around 2.30 a.m. local time at the base of the Halamaumau crater within the summit caldera after elevated seismic activity was detected overnight, the USGS said. Webcam imagery showed lava fountains as high as 262 feet with molten material, including lava bombs, being ejected from the vents on the caldera floor. An estimated 400 acres of the caldera floor was covered in lava by 5.30 a.m., according to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. About four hours later, around 6.30 a.m. local time, the eruption had stabilized within the crater and there were no immediate threats to infrastructure. The USGS said the primary concern is high levels of volcanic gas, primarily water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, that could have far-reaching effects downwind. As sulfur dioxide was released from the summit of the eruption into the atmosphere, it was expected to create a visible haze, known as volcanic smog or VOG, downwind of Kilauea. The plume of volcanic gas and fine volcanic particles is reaching elevations of 6,000 to 8,000 feet above sea level, 2,000 to 4,000 feet above ground level, and winds are transporting it to the southwest, within the closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the USGS said.